I nominated Enrique Aldana for the Outstanding Fundraising Executive Award because he really does embody everything that award should stand for. He is generous of his time, he is generous with other people, he gives back to the community both in time and treasure and talent. I have never seen a development officer, and I've seen many of them, have the heart and soul that he does. I think he's so dedicated because he really puts in the time to get to know these organizations and how they help Tucson be better. And then he just goes around town being their cheerleaders and telling everyone about how amazing all these organizations are. So he really shows up for us um, in a way that's super special. When I say Enrique's heart is truly in it, what I mean is he goes the extra mile. He really knows that you have to be authentic, you have to believe in what you're doing, you have to really be committed to the good that you're creating, and that's an easy thing to talk about. I can't think of anybody else that um, gets involved in something um, and gives 110% of everything that he has. He has a huge heart. Um, if he's gonna put his name to it, he's gonna make it work and um, it's gonna be successful. And, um, and who doesn't wanna say yes to Enrique, right? I do what I do because I love the work that I'm in and I'm very passionate about it. But to learn that somebody has recognized you for the work that you do is just extra special. And I, I didn't know how to react, I guess. I was humbled and excited and nervous. And, um, but overall, just, just very happy. Enrique's impression on donors, I had direct knowledge of because they would call me. They just rave. Oh, we love Enrique. He's so knowledgeable. He's so nice. We don't feel like he's lunching or dining with us just for money. That it's a true friendship. What's It Worth was a fun event. It's an antiques appraisal event and we needed sponsors. So we met Enrique and he said, yes, you need sponsors. That's how you do events. Assistance League hadn't really done big events like this before. So he was invaluable and he kept helping us and he kept sending us names. Have you tried this business? Have you talked to this person? It's really amazing the way Enrique identified with our program Operation School Bell because the kids like him, many of them were not English speakers as a first language. So he understood about overcoming the language barrier and also overcoming the poverty barrier. When you go to school in worn out clothes or hand-me-downs and other people have new clothes, you just feel a little bit less than. And he understood that and he appreciated the way we wanted every kid to feel as best as they could be. Enrique is always funny, not always at the right times. <laughs> he is um, he has a very funny dad sense of humor. Enrique is a true storyteller. I think that you could be in a room and you know instantly Enrique's there. He'll pull you in and he loves to share and he loves to talk about whatever is exciting that's going on in his world or whatever he's involved in. And he doesn't make it feel like a commitment. He makes it feel like something that he's passionate about and something that you want to be a part of. His energy, his enthusiasm, his, the way his personality is, it's just very contagious and you can't help but be happy and have fun when you're around Enrique. You know, first and foremost, obviously my family, my wife and children who um, support me in everything that I do. Um, they're always behind me and they always attend the events that others host or that I have to go to. And so I thank them for, for being in my corner and always supporting what I do for a living. My friends, my friends are super important. Um, there's one that stands out and, and uh, I told her that I was gonna mention her name and she asked me not to, but you know who you are. And um, she, she's the go-to whenever you need to sell raffle tickets or you have to come up with some sort of a raffle prize for some other organization. And then ultimately uh, the community, you know, the community comes together year in and year out, and not just to support Arizona Public Media, but the other organizations of the boards that I've sat on, and other organizations that, that I you know, maybe don't encounter, but the community always steps up. Um, and of course, um, I, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention um, Elizabeth Slater and uh, Deb Dale. Um, I'm sure the audience knows who those folks are. Um, 
they saw something or see something in me that, um, that maybe I didn't. And I just want to thank them from the bottom of my heart for the support they've given me. Um, and also, um, also Jill Becker. Jill Becker, thank you for everything you've done. When I first started at Arizona Public Media, and, and um, yeah, I'm getting choked up just thinking about the people that have supported me to get to where I am today because I didn't get here alone, and, um, and you don't. Um, you, you bring a, a, a team of, of people, community, family, lots of love, lots, lots of support, and, and I can't thank all of you enough for everything that you do. Thank you.